G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Flashlight Crazy. Today I'm reviewing the Thrunite TT20. Let's check it out. All right, so the Thrunite comes with a 5,000 milliamp, 21700, 3.6 volt battery. Inside the box, you will get a holster. And uh, it's not the worst holster I've seen. It's um, definitely more than I can say for Fenex and Nightcore holsters. But uh, I'm not too much of a holster guy myself. Uh, but as far as holsters go, this one is definitely usable uh, and does feel, you know, decent quality compared to some ones that I have seen recently. You will get your USB-A to USB-C charging cable. And that, my friends, goes into that charging port there. Nice and deep. Not as deep as I would like, actually, but still nice and deep. And the flap here has a nice little protruding cover that goes straight over the charging port and nestles right in there. So you can be damn sure that that's gonna look after the uh, water resistance. You will also get a lanyard, a spare rubber clicky, which I love, and two O-rings. And finally, you get your Thrunite TT20 user manual, which I will go over. All right, let's install the battery. And before we do, just give you a look at the contact areas there. It's a really nice piece of uh, piece of equipment, this. I really do like it. It's, uh, it's it, look, it is 21700. So as far as the design and feel go, for me, it's, it, it is on the larger side. Uh, that being said, you know, it's, um, it's comfortable. It's comfortable in the hand. It's comfortable when you hit the switch, when you ramp up and down, it's really nice and comfortable. Um, so, you know, it, it, it works, uh, in tactical situations, it works as well. It's nice to hit the, the clicky, you, you know, your hand falls over the, the body very nice and easily thumb rests naturally on the, on the tail clicky. So, you know, it is, it is a very nice feeling light. Uh, and for the price, it's like a hundred bucks, $105 or something from um, Light Shop. So, and if I just compare it here to the TN12 Pro, um, I still do like the TN12 Pro better. You've got an SFT70, luminous SFT70 in here and an SFT40 here, um, 18650 in the, uh, in the TN12 Pro and 21700 in the TT20. But apart from that, they're identical lights. Um, and yes, this has got a lanyard on it because my missus uses it for walking. I don't like lanyards, um, but she likes it. So that's her walking light. So if we just start at the head, guys, having a look at the little, uh, the having a look at the bezel, we do have like a wavy bezel here, which would uh, act a lot better as a strike bezel than if it was just, you know, flat all the way round. As I said before, it's got a uh, SST70 LED and a smooth reflector down there. Moving on to the side switch, it is very responsive, very nice. And as you can see there, you do have a battery level indicator. And this battery level indicator will flash red when the, uh, the battery needs charging. All right, so constant blue is good. Flashing red is no good. Moving on to the body, it's got a really, really nice, uh, Nice machined body, not sharp at all. If you look really closely, you can see these kind of rectangle machined areas here. It does feel very nice in the hand. You don't really notice them, but they do really add uh, with grip, which is really nice to see. Lovely two-way pocket clip there. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very useful as well to go hands-free on the hat, although it would be pretty heavy on your hat, guys, just uh, letting you know. And you can swap the pocket clip from the uh, lens down option to lens up option here, which is also really, really cool to, uh, to have that option in a light, absolutely. Now the tail cap here, we've got two lanyard holes on either side of the raised edges, and the raised edges protect the forward clicky here, and they also act as tail standing, which is nice to see. And all in all guys, it is uh, a nicely feeling light. Your thumb rests very naturally on the side switch here, uh, and it just really works. So definitely a good light if you're into a 21700, definitely a good light. 
Now, just going over the measurements from the end of the bezel to the tail cap, it hits exactly 13 and a half centimeters. The width of the bezel or the light head comes in at 2.6 centimeters and the width of the tail cap comes in at 2.6 centimeters as well. Now, if we just weigh this, 21700 battery and pocket clip inside comes in at 176.53 grams. All right, so going over the UI, guys, from off, if I press and hold the side switch, it'll come on into Firefly mode. That is 0.54 lumens, and you'll get that for 64 days. Now, if I press and hold from here, it's just going to turn off and lock out, all right? So Firefly mode, and then just press and hold will come back from lockout, uh, but Firefly mode can only be accessed from off, and you can't cycle from Firefly mode. You have to turn it off and then back on to get into your cycling option. Now, cycling options have what they call infinity low, which is 31 lumens, which you'll get for 90 hours. And then it ramps all the way up. Oh, that's ramping down. Okay, so that there is infinity low, 31 lumens, and you'll get that for 90 hours. But now if I press and hold, it's going to ramp up all the way to infinity high, and it will flash when it reaches there. There it is. And infinity high is 1,468 lumens, and you'll get that for 190 seconds before it drops down to 654 lumens, which you will get for 235 minutes. But that is not turbo. So if you want to reach turbo from on or off, double click the side switch. Here we have turbo. Now turbo is 2,526 lumens, and you'll get that for 150 seconds before it drops down to 610 lumens which you will get for 237 minutes. Now, that is your side switch application, right? Now, if I'm in turbo, guys, there's no way to get back to my last known output. I have to turn it off, turn it back on, and it comes back to the last known output. So there's no memory mode for turbo and no memory mode for Firefly. So Firefly only accessible from off, turbo only accessible when you double click the side switch. However, I love it when lights do this because it makes it very, very easy to incorporate an EDC light with a tactical light. So when you hit the tail clicky, it's gonna come on in turbo every single time, 2,526 lumens. So that is a guarantee. And I love that about lights because you know, if you're holding it like this, you've got a lot of control with different outputs, which is really nice to see. You know, moonlight mode all the way up to the ramping phase. And then if you've got, uh, and then if you want to get to turbo, you can either just double click or you can just switch it around and hit that and bang, there you go, turbo. So really, really good to know that your tail clicky is always going to land you on turbo no matter what. Now on turbo, guys, you will get a distance of 258 meters. You will get a max candela rating of 16,650. And this light is 1.5 meter drop resistant and IPX8 uh, water resistant, which is two meters submersibility, which is great. So just having a look at the beam profile here, we've got a very, very nice hotspot on turbo. And then we've got some gorgeous bleeding and spill there. Really nice spill. It's, it looks almost like a curved spill. It looks like a 3D spill. I don't know if you're seeing that, but I'm definitely seeing the 3D spill. It looks awesome. So there's the bleeding you can start seeing there. Really nice colored beam as well. Very, very cool. Not getting too hot. Definitely getting hot, but not getting too hot. I can still hold it. The head, oh yeah, the head's very hot, but the body is uh, definitely, definitely still capable for me to hold. No dramas there. All right, let's head out for some night shots, guys, and then we will return with final thoughts of the Through Night TT20. See you in a sec. All right, out here with the Through Night TT20. There it is on ultra low. Only can see about a meter in front of me, but that's all right. All right, now that is on low mode and I will start ramping. There it goes. Okay, and that flash signifies that that is the highest ramp it gets. Let's check out the trees. 
Very nice. And now, turbo. That is a really nice spread. Look at that. It becomes a very, very nice mixed beam light, doesn't it? Battery indicator on, fully charged, good to go. Now, just turn it off, turn it back on with the tail clicky just to make sure that was turbo, and it certainly was. Very, very good. It's not even pitch black yet, and this light is just cutting through the remaining light and the darkness. Really nice, really nice mixed beam, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Check that out. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, good job through night. Back to the lab. All right, so absolutely uh, beautiful, beautiful light. Very, very usable. Um, I love the ramping. I think the ramping is really, really decent and really good. Uh, I love that you can just stop anywhere in the ramping phase and it's going to just give you that output. Um, I think that gives you a lot more control of how much light you want to use. So I really, really enjoy that. Uh, and of course, you know, the, the turbo action from, uh, from the tail clicky is just brilliant. It's, um, magnificence. I think most lights that incorporate a, a side switch along with the tail switch should do that, to be honest. Uh, as far as the 21700 goes, really, really nice light. Uh, very, very nice light, even beam, just, um, you know, absolutely beautiful. Now, if you want to pick this up, guys, it is available at lightshop.com.au. You can get it for around $100, and I will leave a link uh, directing you straight to this light, uh, and I will leave any relevant discount codes also. Now, Lightshop does have this light in black, obviously, but also in blue and in red. Uh, I think the blue one's $10 more expensive, but the black and red are the same. They're about $100, $105. All right, guys, so thanks very much for joining me again on another video. Stay cool and stay safe. See ya.